In today's video, we are going to be trying to make our own poly spray to be able to sub on 100% cotton. So if you want to see how I did it, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do Cricut and Sublimation videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family. And let's jump into this video. You're going to need a spray bottle. This one's from Walmart. It was a dollar. You can get it from Dollar Tree as well. I like this one has the ounces on the side. So I have mine filled up to 12 ounces. I was going to make 8 ounces, but accidentally filled it up to 12. So well, you're also going to need some poly acrylic and a tablespoon. So we're going to shake this up a bit. I'm going to put a funnel right here. So for 8 ounces, you would put 4 tablespoons of poly acrylic. I have 12 ounces, so I'm going to do 6 tablespoons so there goes one there goes two three four five six okay i'm gonna put on my funnel and stuff to the side and put on my lid and when you're ready to use it just shake it up a little bit and it's ready to use. So now I'm gonna graph my shirt and we're gonna get ready. Okay, so this is the design that I'm gonna be using to sub on this shirt. This is the paper that I reviewed a few videos back. It was from Amazon. It's really cheap. So I'm putting that to the side. We're gonna be using this Gildan shirt. I'm gonna prove to you it says 100% cotton right there. So we're gonna take our shirt and I'm going to lint roll it first cause this shirt I've had for a while. It's been just sitting. So I wanna make sure that I just take out as much lint as I can. So I'm kind of gonna figure out where I want my design first so I know where I'm going to be spraying. So I'm thinking somewhere around there. So I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna take my weeding tool and I'm just gonna put it there so I kinda have an idea of where I am going to place it. I'm putting that to the side. We're gonna take our spray. Oops, take our spray. I'm just gonna lightly shake it. And then we're gonna, I'm just opening this up. We're just going to spray where I want it. Now we're going to take this to the heat press and we're going to press at 330 degrees for 30 seconds. Take a Teflon sheet and I'm just going to put that on top and I'm going to press. Okay, so now I'm going to lift this up. I'm gonna take my spray and I'm gonna spray in the same areas again. And you're supposed to roll it, but I don't really have anything to kind of just roll it. And I'm gonna take my Teflon sheet and I'm gonna press one more time. I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna wait for my heat press to heat back up to 385 degrees. I'm just gonna lint roll it. I'm gonna take my design, put it where I want it. Take my heat tape. Oh my God. You guys, my heat tape dispenser broke somehow and all the things that are honing it down came out. So I'm gonna take my heat tape and I'm just gonna tape this down. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it to the heat press and we're gonna try this out and see how well this works. So I did put a piece of 
put your paper inside my shirt just in case it does go through. And now I'm gonna put your paper on top and I'm gonna press at 385 for 60 seconds. You know what, I'm gonna do 70 seconds instead. This is how much came off the paper. Um, it did go through a bit, so I'm glad I had butcher paper in there. This is how it looks. I don't know if I just put too much um, spray on it, but it's kind of feathering out. I think you should make sure you take out as much moisture as you can before you press it. Here are my final thoughts. So where you spray it, it does become pretty stiff, but I heard that once you wash it, that will go away. Here's how the design looks. I mentioned earlier that it's kind of feathered at the ends, which I don't mind entirely because my plans with this shirt is that I'm going to tie dye all around the design. So it really doesn't matter to me, but I want to state that I have heard that this is more of a temporary um, fix. As you wash it, it is cotton. It's not in fused into the fabric like sublimation on polyester is. So as you wash it, it is going to fade. Um, I will be doing some wash tests and I will let you know if that is true or not. Um, another thing is just make sure that you lint roll, lint roll, lint roll, because if not, where you spray it, that lint will stay stuck there. It won't turn blue like normal when you're subbing, but it will just stay stuck there. So keep that in mind. But other than that, I think this is a really cool thing. This would also be really cool if you had like a makeup bag or something like, like a canvas makeup bag that something you're not going to wash all the time um, then I feel like it would stay on there more permanently. So I'm definitely going to be trying the spray on other things and seeing how well they last. But I am pretty excited about this. Like even if this is a temporary fix, like this is awesome. I don't think it's something that you should sell to people. But that's just my opinion. Like I don't think you should sell something that's going to fade. You might as well just get, you know, a polyester, um, shirt but it does seem to work i would keep you guys updated on how it washes um but i'm really excited about it like i said i'm going to tie dye around this whole shirt the colors are vibrant way more vibrant than if you would have just subbed on the cotton um itself so i think it is worth trying let me know down below if you guys also try it um, I got this image from Creative Fabrica and I kind of just um, took out the words that came with it and then I kind of just added my own design to it. So yeah, it was a SVG so I was allowed to kind of get behind those layers and add my own stuff to it. Um, I really like how it turned out. Um, so don't forget to check out my links down below for Creative Fabrica and their membership. It's only $19 a month and they have a whole bunch of freebies too. So check those out. Don't forget to subscribe. Join my YouTube family. We just passed 7,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so, so freaking much. And once we hit 10,000 subscribers, I will be doing something. I don't know yet. I don't know if it's going to be a big giveaway or it will be something though. I promise. It will be something good. Um, it probably will be a giveaway, but I will try to make it worth it. I promise. 
So I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the bell notification button so you'll be notified every time I upload. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye, guys.